हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू पार्ट टू ऑफ पांडास एंड अजेंडा पॉइंट फॉर टूडे विल बी सीरीज ऑब्जेक्ट इन विच वी आर गोन लर्न हाउ टू अपडेट सीरीज ऑब्जेक्ट हेड एंड टेल फंक्शन वैक्टर ऑपरेशन देन इट विल बी फॉलोड बाई अर्थमेटिक ऑन सीरीज ऑब्जेक्ट देन आवर फाइनल टॉपिक फॉर द डे विल बी फिल्टरिंग एंट्रीज एंड इट विल बी फॉलोड बाई सम क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द टॉपिक so without much delay let's start so to update we can update individual element by specifying the index value here you can see the syntax series object then we can specify the index equals to new value just like any numpy array element or list or anything else it's really simple you can see the example obj Here we are, I have modified the seventh element or specified index value six is equals to ten. Now Python also provide us facility to update multiple items in one go or in one statement. This is the beauty of a Py Python. Let's see how to do it. So first of all we have a series object, then we have a slice index like start, colon, stop. and step is equals to new dot data value here is the example obj obviously it will be a series object then 2 comma 5 is the slice part is equals to 10 so that means your index value 2 3 and 4 will have the same value 10 now we can also change the index value by specifying attribute is equals to new index array now you have to notice your index array should contain same element as series object okay let us see these things in our ide so let's start first of all i am going to import a package called numpy as numpy import pandas as pd and i am going to create a array so that np dot space is equals to less say 1 comma 5 comma let's say 5 element okay sr is equals to pd dot series remember s is capital here so i have a series object so you can see my list is created oh, sorry series is created now let us modify the content so i can say sr of index value 2 is equals to let's say 89 and print this value print the series again sr let's see this now you can notice my third element whose index is 2 is modified to 89 so i think it's successful now what i'm going to do is using some of the index to let's say 5 to let's say let's say 10 now you can see all my element 2 3 and 4 are modified to 10 so this is how it can be done now i'm going to modify the index value so to do this index i have to specify a new index values let's say 10 20 30 and 40 and last is 50 let's do this and now print the series object so now you can see my index is also modified so this is a really very easy to modify the index as well as element values using the slicing or by simply specifying the index value here you can specify the step as well let's say let's do like this first of all i have created a new array executed it and then see so my third element is not modified since i specified step as 2 i think this example is clear to you now let us move to our next topic now the next topic in our queue is head and tail here head elements returns n number of rows from the series now n by default the value of n is 5 and if you specify n then it will return the n number of red rows similarly for the tail it returns the bottom most three rows as per the example or 
by default it is five rows or bottom five rows head is top five rows and top three rows let's see the example so i already have an array let's re-execute it and now i have to use sr dot head a default syntax let's try to execute this now you can see my five rows oh my elements are having five only let's I, we have 15 elements you can see i have 15 elements now i'm going to use a at five you can see only five rows are returned okay two rows you can see only two rows are returned if i say 12 rows now you can see my 12 rows are returned similarly for tail method i can use tail method as well sr dot tail let's print this so bottom five elements are displayed if you specify the values let's say three or last three elements will be displayed or if you specify more than these so last 13 elements will be displayed so this is how head and tail function works i think this is also very easy so let's move quickly move to our next topic which is vector operations vector operations means if we do any mathematical calculation on the object it will be applied to each and every element of a series object for example i have created a array with line space and i have rounded it to do so that i have only two decimal places and i have added two so you can see all the elements in all the elements two is added and similarly if i have performed a any logical operation or a greater than sign less than sign conditional operator similarly the result is displayed so basically it will be calculated for each and every element now let's see this so we already have some array now i am going to perform a operation let's say sr plus 2 and check the result now you can see 2 is added similarly if i use let's say greater than sign or less than sign so all the elements which are less than 2 are uh, false and all the elements which are more than 3 uh, have its value uh, true you can store this result in uh, another array called sr1 is equals to like like this and i can print this array sr1 see so i can always create a new array from you uh, by using vector operations so let's move to our next topic that is arithmetic on series object now to perform series object unlike numpy in numpy when we perform an arithmetic operation both the participating array must be of same size or same shape but here the story is a little bit different now we can have different elements with the different shape and size and still our arithmetic operation uh, will be successful so let us learn if we have two array with the same index values here i have created an array with 0 1 2 3 4 as an index value and you can specify uh, values for each and every element that is 1 3 4 6 7 and we have an object 2 with different elements but the index values are same and i have performed an arithmetic operation that is ob2 plus oba and you can see zero index with the zero index is added and that will give you 5 3 plus 5 is equals to 8 and similarly all the elements are cal calculated so here we have seen how to how arithmetic work on matching indexes now let us see when when this two series have non a matching indexes in this scenario result is, is calculated operation is successful but it will result n a n not a number for all the values all the index values you can see the union is created all the elements from array OBA are present and all the elements from OB underscore C are also present but result is NAN right now next if we have some matches matching columns 
and some non-matching columns like in this example we have created a OBA you can see the index value that is numbers and we have another thing another array OB underscore D which has some of the indexes like 3 which is common 5 is not common 10 and 20 is not common so I have only one element which is matching and I have performed a arithmetic operation so for non-matching values I am getting NAN and for matching value result is perfectly calculated that is 6 plus 1 is equals to 7 you can see 7.0 and all the elements contains NAN now see you have you, you can notice my data type it is turned to float 64 okay so let us see these operation in action so for this time I will be having a let's say new array with some values let's say line space 151 so I have five elements you can see I have a five elements and I'm going to create another array with the same values let's say we have another array arr is equals to np dot let's say a range 10 to 60 with the value of 10 and let's print this also sr2 is equals to pd dot series arr1 let's say so i have sr1 sr2 and let's add these so now you can see index value 0 and index value 0 so if you calculate the total that will be 11 you can see 11 is calculated 2 20 22 33 44 and 55 so for matching elements i have the result right now let us have non similar index so i will be creating a list let's say lst1 is equals to list range let's say 1 to 4 1 to 5 so my element number of elements contains only my list contains only four elements and lst2 is equals to let's say list a comma b comma let's say c comma let's say d okay so my series one let's say sr underscore a is equals to pd dot series let's we have a in data is equals to let's say lst one and data two is equals to or index value is equals to lst two okay and i have sr underscore b which is equals to pd dot series series we have lst u one is the first index and for the second index i am having 10 20 30 and 40 so let's print one by one sr underscore a sr underscore b and let's say print sr underscore a plus sr underscore so let's see this i have two arrays two series objects a b c and d one two three four are these values and i have another series object srb which has 10 20 30 40 index so none of the index are matched and you are getting a union of all the elements but values for all the all the elements are in a not a number so what if we have some elements as a common let's say since i know that 0 and 2 will be the common values and let us try to execute this piece of a code now now if you see we have 0 and 2 oh sorry uh, a and b i should be specifying a as an index value and let's say c as an index value now see if we calculate this we have a matching index 
that is the values are calculated 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 and for c 5 3 plus uh, 2 is equals to 5 and rest all the elements are n a n so i think arithmetic in series is clear to you next let us move to next topic which is filtering now you can see filtering in filtering we have a series object and a boolean exp uh, expression enclosed in a big brackets now you you can see we have two objects oba one three four six seven and i have printed the condition so you know how uh, arithmetic works so it will give, uh, give result for all the elements vector operations and then i have specified this same expression in brackets and you can see all the elements with the true result are returned so you can see two sorry four four if you calculate this it will result to true so four is returned and six is returned while seven three and one are not returned in as in output and let us check this in our code sr is equals to pd dot series uh, let's have some values np dot a range 1 to let's say 10 print sr and then let's print this sr filtered object that is sr mod less 2 equals to equals to 0 and now you can see only even values are printed uh, 2 4 6 8 and uh, even where all values are not printed if i specify it to 1 let's say now you can see only the all values are printed even are left out so this will clear your doubt and let us move to our question section the first question is consider following series object namely as s you can see my series object is this and these are the six part of the question you can understand and write the answer okay so let's move to the question number two that is find out error in following code fragment so these are the your five parts of the question and you have to identify error in these and then you have to write short notes on arithmetic on series object filtering on series object head and tail method so this concludes our topic hope you liked it and thank you very much